Before getting into this video about uh, sharpening a carpenter's pencil, um, I just wanted to say that I found my uh, pencil sharpener. So this is actually for construction pencils. So this is also uh, an alternative that you can do if you don't have, you know, if you don't want to use the knife. All right. I just want to quickly say that before I get into the video. All right, so this is gonna be about sharpening a construction pencil. All right, hey, what's up guys? Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to sharpen a pencil. Uh, this, you know, a pencil like this is so important when you're bending EMT. I understand a lot of people like to use a Sharpie, but uh, one thing when it comes to using a Sharpie when you're bending pipe is that it stays on the pipe. But one little pro tip I'll share with you guys, and I'll just do it on here, is uh, someone told me over time is that Sharpie erases Sharpie. So if you ever do, use Sharpie on your EMT, on your pipe, and you know, it has time to dry and you can't remove it. You can try licking, you know, licking your finger, try rubbing it. But at the end of the day, if you put Sharpie over Sharpie, it will rub off, okay? That's a little pro tip. But generally, especially when it comes to pipe that you are going to be surface mounting, right? You wanna make sure that there's like no kinks and stuff in your pipe, you know, you have to make sure that that pipe is looking nice, right? Uh, but you wanna be typically be using pencil because it's just gonna allow things to be erased easier. And I'll just show you how to do it in this video. Uh, so before we get into this video, definitely check out my free book I have for you guys for apprentice electricians. Just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe, enter your name and email, and I'll send you the free book. Now, if you didn't watch the last video about uh, my coverall setup, I talked to you about, you know, I always have a pen, Sharpie, pencil, Voltic, knife, just, just these basics on me that are always, that allows you to be so useful. And I thought just since this is not cut, I'll show you how to do it, okay? So this is how I do it. Uh, you know, by no means am I a professional at this at all, but this is what I used to do. So uh, typically you, you kind of want it to be a little bit longer and you just kind of uh, work your way into it. So I'm just gonna do this. And also shout out to, uh, shout out to BC Fasteners. Uh, that is uh, one of the, suppliers around here when it comes to fasteners, like uh, screws, nails, and they, we, just, we, usually, uh, we don't usually always get these uh, pencils. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're just kind of uh, angling it in. You wanna start a little further back. And the reason, again, why these pencils are so awesome is just because um, you get a lot of lead in there, right? It allows it to last a lot longer than a normal pencil. Like if you're just gonna use a normal pencil, you're always gonna burn through your lead. Always, always, always. You know, this is good for like writing on paper, maybe like the odd little small um, pipe bending. But when you are bending a lot of pipe, you're typically you wanna use something like, like this, okay? So uh, I usually just kind of angle it in and just see how I'm being safe with the knife. And again, this is why I like this stab knife so much. It's just so sharp. It just allows you just to really get her done. We're, we're breaking into the, into the lead now. And uh, there's even pencil sharpeners. I think I purchased one one time. They're like maybe like a buck at like these, uh, these stores. But yeah, you can just see, I'm just kind of angling it in there. Now again, by no means am I a professional at this at all. So I know people in the comments always got their opinions, but hey, if you actually have real tips, you feel free to uh, let me know. And I just kind of work my way, just kind of, uh, especially when a pencil, like the very, very first, the very, very first one um, is usually a little bit trickier, but once you get it going, like, like for example, as the pencil starts getting shorter and shorter, you already kind of have your end, uh, but it's usually just this initial one. But you can see that uh, the very, very beginning was when I kind of, uh, I kind of dug in a little deeper and then I just kind of kept going. And you can see that the, it's kind of turning out pretty good. All right, so you can see it's shaved, but you can see that this would eventually snap. You want it to be quite strong. So again, I'm just gonna kind of break off the lead here just a little bit. Uh, again, just, just so that it's nice and strong. All right, so there you guys go. So something like that. And then as it starts to get dull, you just kind of keep sharpening it, right? And the benefit of using a pencil like this, again, when you're bending your pipe, it lasts longer because you have more lead to work with. All right, so if you guys want to become an apprentice electrician, you wanna learn more and you want some valuable tips, check out my free book I have for you guys. Just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. You can sign up with your name and email and I will email you the book to download, all right? Uh, again, this video is not sponsored. I just had this pencil laying around by BC Fasteners, so shout out to them. And uh, again, if you guys have recommendations on how to do this better, you guys can also leave that in the comments. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Look at this mess.